Actually, before we start print, before we start doing more dimensioning, I'm going to go back and I want to print these up. So it's going to make us take a look at our dimensions again. So I'm going to go layout. And now on this one, I'm going to change this because I want to do, how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four. I'm going to try to put four layouts here. So I'm going to move this one over and I'm going to move this down and I'm going to copy it up, turn my O snaps off, move this down a little bit. You can also move objects, watch, I'm going to move this over just arbitrarily. You can also move an object from an end point to perpendicular and watch what happens. It just makes them aligned. I do that a lot. And then you can just copy, CO for copy, and I'm going to just turn my ortho on and drag these over here. Okay. Now, you can also, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do for this. I'm going to move these two down a little bit so there's a little bit more space in between them. Okay, so this is just aesthetics. Now in this one, make sure they're not locked. I've got to highlight all of them and unlock them. Double click on the inside. Right now they're at a 1 to 2. I'm going to change it to a 1 to 4. 1 to 4. 1 to 4 and 1 to 4. Now, oops, 1 to 4. Double click on the outside. So this one's going to be pan. This one's going to be the first one. Pan. This will be the second one. Double click on the inside. Pan. This will be the third one. Double click on the inside, pan, and this will be the fourth one. Now, you can use your grips and you can show it. Make sure your ortho is on. That's ortho is off. That's what's causing me to have this issue. Make it look like that. Make this one come down here like such. Make this one come over here as such. All I'm using is my mouse wheel and zooming in and out with the grip being activated. The little blue corners, that's my grip. Pick this. Pick this. And I'm just grip editing these. Okay, all of these are going to be one to four scale. Now, if these are all one to four, and I'm going to lock the viewports, then what is the text size? So I had already changed the size to make it to be 0.12 plotted out. So let's take a look at the text size now. If I just hover to the bottom and go to the top, now it's 0.06. I'm going to print this out to see how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that that's, and I'm just going to call this dimension practice objects one through four, not seven, four. Now, April got on to me about the colors here. I apologize. If you want this to be white background, I'm going to type in OP. She was like, I can't see it, Sandra. Change that color. So, okay. Type in OP and go colors and go paper background and then, I'm sorry, uniform background, change that black to white, apply, okay, okay. Okay, so it's easier to see, my bad. Um, I'll continue to hold the that color for the rest of the time. So I'm going to plot this out, print, and do the preview, and there. That does not look bad. That text height isn't horrible. It's not what we need. Um, so I'm going to go OK. And I'm going to change that to dimension, practice dimension objects. Let me get this printed objects one through four. Now, what would we have to do if we wanted the text larger? Okay. 
if we want it oops looks like there's multiple text going on in there oopsie undo let me pull this out that's what it is my one one to four objects if I wanted this text to be a little bit bigger here's what you're gonna end up having to do now sometimes you can update text and it works fine sometimes it doesn't I can modify this text and the text height is 0 0.12, 0 0.25 right now. So if I had another, if I went down a quarter scale and I wanted it 0 0.12, that means I'm going to have to multiply 0 0.12 by 4, which gives me 0 0.48. So I can go or round it up and just make it 0 0.5 for text height and symbols of 0 0.5. Go OK set current and close look what happens okay because the text height when we go to look at it when it's plotted out here if I do an annotative scale and I measure this because it's at a quarter scale the text height when it's printed is 0.12 but now it's a mess we would have to have more room between it now, I've seen prints with point, point oh 0.08 as the text height. So if I want text height of point oh 0.08, and I had to change it by a quarter, so I would take point oh 0.08 times 4, so that gives me point 0.32, right? So that's the math of it. So let me go back to my model. Well, you don't even have to go model, but I usually do. I'm going to modify that. And I'm going to change that to 0.32 and I'm going to change this to 0.32 okay set current close it's a little bit getting cluttered but it's it's there so as we would do more of the other ones we would give ourselves more room and now if I measured this let me get rid of that if I did a linear measurement and remember I'm pr I'm measuring it in the layout so the the paper sp space there's 0.08 so that doesn't look too bad now if I go to print it whoops look at that over there cut that one off whoopsie so if I went to print it since we've already got our page set up and preview that doesn't look too bad okay that does not look too bad now the reason that it's really dark here that would be bad that right there that's bad so when you start manipulating the uh, um, the text then you have to make sure that whatever you set before still works for you make sure nothing's gapping or overlapping all right so you can print it preview and go okay and I'm gonna just overwrite that dimension I'm gonna go dimension objects 1 to 4 um, txt text 0.32 just so oh don't 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 put the point text um you can't do it just text just leave it be <laughs> so we'll just put an a on it just to sh dimension to explain that it's it's different from the previous if you looked at the two side by side so I just put the two drawings side by side. So you can see this one is the uh, 0.06 and this one is the point, um, 0.08 text size. So they look a little bit different. So this, this 0.08 is pretty good. So I'm going to leave my, my style at 0.08. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to stop here and then we're going to take a look at, go back to your model, and we're going to take a look at doing a few more.